Nissan Leaf 2017 onwards when you hear that noise when trying to unlock the cable that one that means the mechanism is gone and you need to either replace it or repair it replacement is about 500 pounds or equivalent you can you can repair it in most cases you can remove charging cable um, sometimes you can't if you can't um, the best way forward is to open the bonnet if you can because there is uh, it's quite difficult to uh, reach the latch and remove these plastic trims ideally they sit in here you can use a plastic you can use flat screwdriver or you've got this um, trim removal you just um, put it underneath push it out and then the pin comes out just take it all out um, so there is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten once you remove it you can take the plastic trim out and access this gear and when you access it you can just turn it to remove the cable okay that removes the cable so once you remove the cable you have to remove four more of those they're locate, located here 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 and here when you remove them you need to close that um, charging panel until you can remove it it's quite difficult using only one hand it needs to be nearly closed to remove it okay and just remove that it comes out it's just a piece of plastic and there are four screws size 10 you just undo them and you can pull pull that connection out and remove you don't have to un, 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 um, undo the whole thing just pull it out a bit and then you can remove the module and I'll show you in a minute how to how to do it so yeah it's the easiest way to do it once all four screws are undone you just push it about to the back and you can access it from from here there are probably ways of removing it but I don't want to strain the cables so there are three t20 security screws one here one here and one on this side so it needs to be that type of security it's a t20 size so yeah just need to undo those three and unplug unplug that plug when undoing the plug you need to push it a bit into the socket and while pressing press that tub very um, firmly otherwise it will not going to come out it's not a very good plug but it's quite sturdy so yeah and that's the whole module I believe it's 500 pounds We'll uh, open it and show you how to um, how to repair it. So now when you have a unit out, you can you can open it. It doesn't have any screws because it's a sealed unit. However, the glue is heat activated, so um, you can use a little bit of heat. Ideally, hair dryer. Just warm it up um, all around, and the, the glue will then um, be much easier to remove. So I normally start by wedging a small screw flat screwdriver in this location and you can put under the slip and start leveraging a bit just undo this tab there's one tab here and one tab on, on this side so start leveraging a bit and when it's it's, it's slightly open it creates a gap enough uh, to to fit another screwdriver something flat wedge that in 
and then start on this on this side just a little bit a little bit there um it's a soft plastic so don't don't try to twist it just try to to pry it out there's another tap on this side so undo that but when you get to this side it's going to be quite easy there are quite a few areas where you can you can wedge it in so there's one here one here and on this side there's one on this side just be careful because this this area is not as um strong as others so start praying it out and start you can you can even squeeze it in here start undoing it and then undo these two just pull them out they're just normal normal tabs so pull them towards itself and open the whole thing okay so now it's open so this is the damage as you can see that is um broken still working but it's going to break so you can you can get um different gears the the ones on um aliexpress and timo quite poor quality so i've got these from Radev. The reason why I'm saying they're very, very good, and then I've got two different, two, two different styles, is that they have steel reinforcement. There you go. So this is the old style, which I don't think he sells anymore. And this is a new style, which is basically the same. See here. And they should be okay. There is an option to get um, stainless steel. I didn't opt for stainless steel because my concern is that the reason why these fail is when people push or pull the plug before that um, tab is either pulled all the way in or um, out. So by doing this, basically you trap it and then the um, the motor will still will still work, will still turn, and they will damage. Well, if it's not gonna if it's not gonna break one of those, it will probably break these, and these are not replaceable. You can't get them, so just be careful. Um, so yeah, uh, and all you have to do is just replace them. Um, I add a little bit of um, silicone and PTFE grease. It's just. Um, so it's quite easy and I'll show you in a minute how to um how to do it. It's quite straightforward. So this is the first part of the mechanism. So this is the tap that goes in and locks locks the cable. You just pull it out. And this is the um, the gear. So we see the second gear. It's quite easy to remove. So you just use a PTFE um PTFE uh, and silicone grease just to make sure it's still greased. Just replace the gears, put it all back in. Um, I'll most likely replace that um, glue with the silicone, or maybe just squeeze it on together um, using heat again, just to uh, just to close it. But it's up to you how you want to how you want to lock it. So yeah, um, like I said, I got mine from Bradev. It's not. Um, I didn't get anything from him. I paid for um, for those gears, so it's not sponsored. Um, absolutely not. I think this is this is the only one I can find. If, if there are the others, great. But this was the only product I can find that has a reinforcement. So, so yeah, yeah. Good luck.